At the Santiago General Hospital, doctors treating trauma patients have a new tool to fight disease. The hospital director is taking us through the intensive care unit where an innovative experiment is taking place. Look at these shining bed rails. These are not the original ones, says Dr. Patricia Mendez. The sink has also been replaced, and even her stethoscope has a strange metallic color. You may have guessed by now, these items were made with copper. It's been known for a long time that copper has antibacterial properties. Even the ancient Egyptians knew that. So what better place in a hospital to take advantage of those properties? The use of copper to reduce infection at hospitals is a project spearheaded by Codelco, Chile's state-run mining company and the world's largest copper producer in partnership with foreign investors. A clinical trial uh, done in the U.S. shows that at least you can expect a reduction of 40 percent in the infection rate. And we are doing a, our own clinical trial. This is the intensive care unit of the Roberto del Rio Children's Hospital here in Santiago the oldest of its kind in Chile. This is also where studies regarding the effectiveness of copper to kill bacteria are being held. Dr. Marisol Navarrete is in charge of the clinical trial and says what she's seen so far is very promising. Even if doctors wash their hands, they're only as clean as the last person who touched the faucet. But with copper fixtures, bacteria simply dies. The uh, ions of copper uh, they interact with the membrane of, of, the, uh, of the bacteria and they, the metabolism gets disturbed and they, they, they are killed by the copper. In Chile, a company called Copper BioHealth is manufacturing hospital products made with the metal. Our challenge is how to scale, okay, because you need, uh, you need money on one hand and in the other hand, you need to, to improve the, the processes, the manufacturing processes. The Environmental Protection Agency in the United States has registered copper as an antimicrobial agent. This gives manufacturers in Chile hope they will be able to mass market their products internationally in the near future. Rafael Romo, CNN, Santiago, Chile.